So the first thing I'm gonna do here is go through and cut some wires. What I like to do is cut the wire first and then go back with the desoldering iron and just remove all the excess bits. And then since I'm totally repurposing this, it all comes out. I try not to throw away too much stuff. I mean, I will definitely throw away old wiring, but old parts, even if I'm not gonna use them, I'll keep them around. And you know, some folks like to keep this stuff stock and they wanna restore it. Hey, I'm not gonna stop them. I'm a hot rodder though, not really a restorer. Carbon film resistors, ceramic caps, I throw those away. Uh, carbon comp resistors, if they've got enough of a lead, I'll try to keep them. Moving on up here, just gonna go ahead and clip everything. I'm not reusing these caps. I'm gonna totally rewire this, this first stage preamp, all part of the remote circuit. I'll gently remove these, these two remote circuit caps. And yeah, anywhere I see these crappy carbon film resistors or ceramic caps, they're just getting junked. And then what I'll do is I'll go back with a, a solder sucker later and I'll remove the, the, the tips that I'm cutting off here and all the solder. But I'll save you from all of that. Right now I'm basically just clearing space. This is the positive voltage I wanted to remove, this big old 150K. That's gonna go away, but I'm gonna do that with the soldering iron because I'm definitely gonna keep this big old fat carbon comp. Yeah, I'm gonna go through and clip out these. Crappy caps. And you might think I'm it's a little bit of overkill for me to get rid of these caps. Maybe you like this kind of these kind. I just I don't. I don't really like tantalums. I don't really like ceramics. I mean, and yeah, they were the technology at the time, but we got we got films for almost anything these days. So I'm also gonna remove this little guy down here on the bottom. Remove this guy. This is all part of the remote circuit. So this little selector guy here, this selects the impedance of the speaker output. I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna label each of these wires. You'll see I clipped two wires here. One of them was the ground wire and it went straight to these things that are getting cut out. Labeled that with a G. And then this other one was the 70 volt feed, which went to pin three on here. That uh, will not be used. I'll wind up covering this up with some shrink tubing and just essentially deleting it. And then I did clip this wire, this selector wire, which is connected to the pin two here. I just clipped that. I'm going to reuse that. The next thing I got to do is I'm going to clip out these big old honking 100 microfarads. So I've clipped the leads on both of these guys. And there they are. And I don't know, somebody might want these, but I'm just going to throw them away. Old capacitors are like old tires. I mean, maybe they're cool, but they're not very useful. And just like old tires, you they might work and you might be able to run them. But you're going to regret it one day when that tire blows out. And when's it gonna blow out? At the worst possible time. The next step is, and I, I won't show you much of this, I'll show you just a little bit of it. Uh, I'm gonna set up my desoldering station, and I'm gonna go ahead and clean up where, where I've clipped all these wires. I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna suck out all the solder, make the lugs ready so that they can be, uh, all the parts can be replaced. One other thing that I almost forgot was, and I'll go ahead and do that right now, the cap can is coming out, so I'm gonna go ahead and clip this wire. I'm gonna clip this wire, another one. That wiring will get replaced. And then I'm gonna gently remove those resistors because I'll probably be reusing this. All right, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna jump ahead a little bit here. Like I said, I'm gonna go ahead and do some desoldering. I'll be back after I'm done cleaning up a bit. Actually, before I do my desoldering, I'm gonna go ahead and remove these guys and these guys. In order to remove these guys, what I'm gonna to have to do is drill out these rivets. And what I'm gonna wind up doing is getting a non-conductive board that fits in here, and I'll be re-riveting the, the board to here, and then I'll mount my speaker jacks in there. And then quarter inch jacks here. Now, uh, one thing I had forgotten about was these don't use retaining nuts. They get pressed in. And I'm gonna try to reuse this phenolic board behind it because it's the same size as a quarter inch jack. 
Sometimes I have to destroy these things to get them out of here. Sometimes I have to drill them out from the inside out. I'm gonna drill out these four rivets and then remove these however I can, and then I'll be back. And then I'll do my desoldering. I have taken these out and um, <laughs> it's been a while since I've done one of these, so I'd forgotten exactly how to do it, but I had to drill these out. And you can see I'm, I'm about, I'm ha halfway through it. So I'm gonna pull this thing down to the bare chassis and then um, I'm gonna build it back up with uh, all fresh parts. Well, I mean, I'm gonna, I'm gonna reuse some of the parts, mostly carbon composition resistors. Uh, I'm gonna reuse some of those, but I'm gonna put in all new coupling caps, all new electrolytic caps, and most importantly, all new wiring. Now, one thing I wanted to show you was when I was pulling parts off of this uh, first socket here, I broke this point. It broke accidentally, I, I pushed the rest of it through. And then I wound up breaking another one of these. Now I, I had kind of like half messed it up. I probably could have reused it. Like what I basically, what I did was when I was cutting the old parts off, I accidentally cut through one side. If that happens, I don't like to fix it. You know, there's just no fixing it. So I went ahead and uh, cut the end off and pushed that through too. So now I don't have to replace this whole socket I actually have some part sockets that are the same brand and type of these. And uh, what I'll do is I'll pull some of these pieces through one of those one of those donor sockets and I'll replace them in here and they'll be just fine. All I have to do is get them through the hole and crimp them down a little bit and it'll be just like a brand new socket. The next step then for me is to basically remove everything. The only thing that's gonna stay here is gonna be the original pots, the original switches, the original tag strips, tube sockets, the transformer and the transformer wiring. But all the old wires, all the old caps, all the old resistors, they're all coming out. Take my word for it, it's just gonna be easier. Like trying to work around stuff, especially when it's built, when you've built a bit of a rat's nest like this, it's just, you know, it started out with me being like, oh, the heater wiring looks kind of janky. Maybe I can replace that. And then I'm like, oh, to get to the heater wiring, that's usually the first thing that I install, and it looks like it's the first thing whoever built this installed. I would have to have all kinds of stuff in the way, and move it out of the way. <sighs> let's, let's just start from scratch. It's actually gonna be easier, and ultimately, in my experience, tearing it all the way down, taking it all the way apart, and rebuilding it all the way back up is actually easier than trying to work around all this stuff. You wind up way more frustrated, and like I said, it's, it's like with an old car. If I rebuild everything, I know it's been rebuilt. I'm not gonna have to go back in a few weeks or months and fix something and it's not gonna be buggy. So yeah, um, I'm gonna skip ahead here and go ahead and clean this whole thing down to a bare chassis. All right, y'all. That's what a nine hour workday looks like. <laughs> I always prefer, if I can, to just a total rebuild. And this is what I mean by a total rebuild. It means, in fact, I'm still gonna replace these two wires. Um, just because it's old wire and I don't want that to be the only old wire in there. <laughs> so I, uh, as soon as I looked at it, I was like, oh yeah, two more things I missed. But yeah, you can see I took everything down. The only wires that are left in here and, and I left these parts in there just cause those are the exact same parts that would go back in exact same place. It's fine. I, I pulled everything else out. There was some wire going to the grounds. I pulled that out. The switch is clean. I mean, not only did I pull all the parts off of here and suck all the solder off of here, but I also scraped everything with my dental pick tool. Um, got all the uh, flux off of there, the old 60 year old flux. And you can see the pots too, did the same thing with those. Took all, all everything off of everything. The only thing staying is, is this AC wire, which is fine. It's a, it's a different kind of wire. It's different than the wire that was used for the hookup wire in here. It looks like it took me about nine hours to get to here. That might seem like a lot to you, but man, I work slow and careful. I don't want to tear this stuff up. You know, if you break stuff along the way, then that slows you down even more. Tomorrow, I, uh, what I'm going to do is, the plan is going to be to take the outside chassis, sand it down, and paint it, because that, that itself takes all day because of the time that it takes to dry and everything. So I'll start that first, and then I got to come in here, and I got to enlarge this hole for the... Uh, cap can that I have uh, like I said it's a it's a style that has its own like mounting bracket 
it, it doesn't mount to the chassis like this, so the hole's much bigger. I'll go ahead and build the little board that goes back here. I actually have some Garolite. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and run the jacks and once I get all the hardware installed in the chassis and after the case is painted, then uh, I'll get my parts together and I'll start wiring this thing up. And hopefully another nine to 12 hours tomorrow on top of this and she'll be done. Yeah. All right. Well, this is the end of part one. Join me tomorrow for part two. Thanks y'all.